So let's do our folio box. I'm not really sure what you even call this to store our folders. So you need two pieces of chipboard, eight and a half by two, one piece, five by two, one piece, eight and a half by five, and two pieces, eight and a half by eight and a half. To wrap these, we need one piece, ten and a half by seven, two pieces, ten and a half by four, one piece, seven by four, and two pieces, ten and a half by ten and a half. And apparently I didn't prep these ahead of time, which is fine. I'll go ahead and grab these really quickly. And my knife. And it's always good to, you know, go through how to get your score tape sheets onto your chipboard. So what I'm going to do is fold that back. I'm going to line it up on top of my chipboard, which on this one we're lucky because it is eight and a half inches wide. So we're not having to really cut anything off the side just off the one end. Okay. All right, so there's one ready to go. And I do have just a tiny bit of overhang. I'm not sure if that's me cutting this wrong. It's entirely possible. Or there's just overhang on the sheet. I'm thinking it's actually overhang on the sheet because that does happen to me all the time with this. So. Since we are using the medium weight chipboard on this, this is why I'm going to go ahead and use score tape sheets as opposed to gluing like we've been doing on our folders. Because where this is a structure, more of a structural thing, we do need it to make sure it's going to hold. Okay. Yeah, so you've got that tiny bit of overhang again, so it is the sheet. Okay. So those two are ready to go. Let's see what we've got here. Go ahead and oh, that was almost perfect. <laughs> Can plan that if I tried. Just a tiny bit of overhang. Let's go ahead and zip off of here. All right, so those pieces where they are just open today. I realize it's been a while, but you know, you have no idea how many times with this <laughs> that cricket knife I have cut my finger open. It's just that sharp and it's such a good knife that I'm not going to not use it. Okay, so I, this is one inch score tape, which has just been added back to the shop in Country Craft Creations. I love one inch score tape. I was really excited to see that. Okay, turn just a tiny bit off the end of that one. And that's okay. Right. That one's good. That one's good. That one I need to take that tiny bit off the end where I got carried away. 
Oh, no. All right. So let's go ahead and get all of this wrapped. Or at least placed on here and then we'll wrap it. Let's let's do it that way. So let's start with our ten and a half by ten and a half. I'm gonna get my one inch templates on here. literally just grabbing these that I've got in the order that they are in my little stack over here so since we're just getting them onto the chipboard down onto the cardstock to prepare to wrap them it really doesn't matter done. Here's what we're going to do. So these two are our covers. We're going to wrap these like normal. This one is the spine in between. This is going down here. So we have this piece that's going to come up and this is the piece that's going on the end. So I'm going to hold these three aside for now. We're just going to focus on the ones that are the normal process. I'm trying to figure out what I've done with my quarter inch score tape. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, fold and burnish. straightforward. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and cut these corners out.
again. Okay. And then we're going to fold and we're going to check our corners. And get those mitered. going to come in here with our quarter inch score tape. And we're going to go around just like normal. Alright, so go ahead and burnish these down. And then I'm going to pull all of my backing off of my tape. my pin out of my glue last night because you know of course I did so we're gonna have to mess with that in just a second here but it's been kind of sitting upside down in my little thing here I don't know it might be okay <laughs> we'll find out won't we chipboard and then in this space where we have no um, tape. I'm going to take my bone folder, push up against that chipboard, then over and down, turn all the way around. And again, up against the chipboard, over and down. Do the other two sides. If you have not, if this is your first time trying the 
easy wrap album method that Tamara at Country Craft Creations has come up with. I can't even tell you. It's so much faster and it's so much easier and you're just going to love it. So, all right. Get our second one ready. Maybe. There are two cover pieces. Let's work on our normal spine. So we're just going to fold and burnish. Just like we do on the cover. Okay, and then we're going to cut the triangle off those corners. Okay. I'm going to take my quarter inch score tape, get it down on my ends. Again, along the chipboard and in that area where there is no tape, and then over, and then turn it over, and I'm just going to burnish up along and get these good and work down along that chipboard. it over. We're going to miter that ever so slightly. Okay. And we're going to take our score tape. We're going to come along that edge and then about an eighth of an inch or so away from that chipboard. Okay. So there's our chipboard. We want this not up against that chipboard because once we get the spine on there, if this is all the way to that chipboard, you're going to see it. Okay. One side. And I'm going to run glue in between my tape. 
this a tiny bit in that gap. And then I'm going to line this up on top of the chipboard and I'm going to use my thumb at the, or my finger at the top. I'm just going to push this till it drops off the edge of the chipboard and then push it down. And turn it over. And there you go. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. part of our little, I don't even know what you call this. It's not really an album. It's not really a folio and it's not really a box. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. So we've got our base of our holder because I don't know what else to call it for our book. I did actually have wrong measurements on this, so we're going to redo that part. So I'll edit it out. You'll never know, except that I just told you. <laughs> okay, we need chipboard. Five inches by eight and three eighths. One and seven eighths by eight and three eighths. And five inches by one and seven eighths. To wrap that, we need chipboard ten and three eighths by seven. 10 and 3 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths and 7 inches by 3 and 7 eighths. I did go ahead and prep the back of this and yeah I'm down to like using scraps just to clear them out of my drawer so my score tape's a little patched together back here but that's okay nothing wrong with that because it's not like anybody's gonna see it. my one inch templates All right, so let's start with our five and seven eighths, I'm sorry, eight three eighth pieces. We're going to go ahead and fold and burnish. Fold and burnish. corners. And then we're going to check our mitering on our corners. Nothing's hanging over. 
guess. out loud. <laughs> Cannot get a hold of that today. All right. We're going to take our glue along the chipboard and in that area underneath the tape up and over. Same thing on the other side. And then again, down the chipboard. Okay. So this piece we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish. And we're going to wrap this like we normally wrap our spine pieces. We're going to cut that triangle out. Get our score tape down. Turn that over, burnish along that chipboard edge. Okay. 
Okay. And we're going to slightly miter our wings. Okay. Go ahead and get our score tape on here. Just like before, you don't want to go up to that chipboard. You want to go about an eighth of an inch away. And there goes my score tape. I know you don't like the crinkles, Gus. I'm sorry. Every time I open the score tape, the cat gives me a dirty look. <laughs> Anything when the cellophane like that. It Gives me this dirty look. It's really funny. Like, I am here for peace and quiet. Why are you making noise? <laughs> News for you, dude. It's my craft room, not yours. <laughs> oh, but he's really cute. Okay. So, what I'm going to do first is we're going to get this piece attached to this. glue right there and we're going to line this up okay and then this piece is going to go on here but first we're going to get this piece on so we're going to go ahead and fold and this one's going to be weird because we need wings on three sides so if you watched me make the box for the Disney album. You can probably figure out where we're going. Okay, so on one end, we're gonna do that, okay? This one's gonna fold over. This is gonna be our finished edge, okay? This end, Figure out how I did this again. Okay, so this end, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to angle those edges. So this is going to come in here. to do this with, but that's okay. We will make this work. needs to attach here and have wings available to attach here so I think I do actually cut this entire corner out down here but actually I'm not going to cut the whole thing out I'm just going to fold these two up we're going to leave this one there I'm going to fold it over and clean up that edge and again for crying out loud okay we're going to glue these two corners down okay so what we've got here like so okay so what's going to happen here is we're going to put tape here Thank you. 
just a tiny piece on here. Okay, that one's in the wrong place. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I should have known that. Okay. So. Fold that over so I can see where I need to get this lined up at. It shouldn't be too hard because... going to do is I'm going to fold these wings in and clip them just so that they're out of the way so I can see exactly where it is I'm trying to line this up okay so basically I'm going to line this up apparently I've shed into my tape side to side, slide it down, and there we go. Okay, so if I just put it on the wrong damn side. needs to go on the opposite side. I am just on a roll today, I'm telling you. Okay, let's try this again. Because this attaches and folds up, it needs to be on this end. Sorry about that. I am just... Like, I was on a roll yesterday, and I stopped to make dinner for my family, and... Everything since then has just been, I just cannot figure stuff out today. <laughs> All right, there we go. Much better. So now we can get this attached there. Okay. So then this will all fold up. I'm going to leave, actually I'm take those off of there. So I think we're good. And this we're gonna go ahead not that because that's too far over thank goodness for art glitter glue because it doesn't show <laughs> And we are going to come all the way to this outside edge. Okay. Turn that over. And varnish that down. Okay. So now we need some reinforcement here, here, and a little piece right there. So I'm going to get over here in my scraps. So there's a good one there. Okay. There's 
there's our piece there. And then we need a piece on here, which then it's going to cover that entire piece. All right, so I'm going to put this one down first. on the back of that so that it adheres down completely. There's that one. I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to work that crease, burnish everything down, and that one is reinforced. We're going to take this one and we're going to go across right there. I think I am just going to use my one inch tape on this. Same thing again. We're going to take the bone folder, we're going to work that crease, and then that one. Because then what's going to happen is we're going to come up, and how am I too tall? Oh my god, seriously. Okay, so this chipboard piece is a little bit tall, so what I'm going to do. miter the heck out of those corners. And it'll 
be fine. Yep, there we go. No, it's not noticeable. Perfect. Okay, so it is going to be open on this end. This will wrap around and close like so, and then we'll do a ribbon closure on this side. Okay, but before we do that, let's get our other cover piece done. And this one I am going to actually buy some. That's the tape sheet. it down and then it will be fine. Dang it. I hate when I do that. Okay. Bring this in. Make sure I don't have score tape hanging over the edge because I have just a tiny, tiny bit. Fold and burnish, fold and burnish, okay, and then we can bring up our first side on this, and I am going to get my glue in here in the middle. this up, stand this up straight, line up our outside edge, and then burnish. Okay, do the same thing on the other side, get my backing off. face down, get in there with my bone folder and burnish that down. And then there's our box that our the folders are going to sit in. And I've got one that I can sit in there just to kind of show you. So they're going to sit in there like that. And there we go. All right. Let's move on to a couple other things that we need to finish up. And we're almost done. 